greetings, greetings from London, England. What an honor to be able to share Caleb and Naomi at your wedding. And as I was praying, the Lord especially brought this important verse to mind from Corinthians. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the late of the Lord, knowing that your your labor is not in vain in the Lord. How I wish I could be with you at this time, and I long to get back in India. But at present, I'm here, and we're communicating through this amazing technology. And I just want to let you know that anybody whose wedding I speak at, they can get free books the rest of their lives. And I'd especially encourage you as a married couple to read that chapter in Calvary Road, Revival in the Home. So important in my own marriage, and we just celebrated 62 years of marriage and faithfulness to one another. Another book that I think I'd love to send you if you don't have it is Grace Awakening, especially the chapter Oiling Your Marriage Through Grace. Marriage is a God-given institution and we read much about it in the scriptures. I was reading just the other day as on my blog in the last two weeks I've been sharing about marriage and I was reading the challenge of Ephesians chapter 5 which I'm sure you have read. But as I was preparing and praying about this opportunity to share God gave me seven words I'm gonna have to be brief that I want you to remember and I give you these seven words they're all biblical challenges biblical principles and these words lead to many other uh, biblical principles in God's Word that I trust you'll be studying regularly as a married couple the first word of course is the word love and I'd urge you to read 1st Corinthians 13 together many times maybe even in different translations because in some ways that's the Mount Everest of Scripture that we all need to keep climbing. And it's been a very basic, important part of my own marriage, often leading uh, to repentance as I realize at times my lack of sensitivity or my unkind word toward my dear wife. The second word is the word grace. Again, we think of many books on the subject, but my favorite is Grace Awakening. However, in my book, Messiology, which I'd love to send to you, I should have a chapter, really, The Messy Marriage, but God works in messy situations. So if you have some difficult times, things seem to be going wrong, I pray you'll understand God will keep working in the midst of it. Keep trusting Him. Grace is, is, of course, one of the most important words in the Bible, <coughs> first of all, about God's grace to us and sending His Son, the Lord Jesus, to die on the cross for our sin. And there may be someone attending the wedding. You've, never, you've not yet experienced that grace. Uh, I'm about to have my 67th or 68th spiritual birthday on March 3rd. When I was born again through the preaching of Billy Graham in Madison Square Garden, New York and I just believe so strongly in that scripture about grace or saved by grace but then there's that demonstration of God's grace in our own lives through the manifestation of the fruit of the Holy Spirit love joy peace long-suffering gentleness goodness faithfulness meekness against such there is no law I pray that the fruit of the Spirit will be manifest in your marriage and when it's not there'll be humble there'll be humility there'll be brokenness and willingness to apologize the third word is the word fellowship and immediately another word comes to mind conversation keep talking and when you're hurt and things go wrong don't just clam up and go in your little corner learn to speak to each other and Caleb, men are definitely weaker at listening than women. And oftentimes, our wife just wants to share with us 
and we interrupt them and give them a scripture or an exhortation. Uh, I have been guilty of that. I talk about it in my newer book, Confessions of a Toxic Perfectionist. So fellowship together, conversation, allowing time for it. We get busy even in God's work and we then sometimes neglect one another. And then the fourth word is the word prayer. My wife and I have been celebrating even during this difficult period of much lockdown. We've been able to have more time in prayer than almost ever in our lives. We had a time when, when prayer was neglected in, in terms of us praying together. And I just believe a study together in the months to come of the subject of prayer and the Word of God will help you lay that foundation as you pray together. And then, of course, uh, the next word, I think we're up to the fifth word, is the Word. Yes, the Word of God. Spending time in the Word of God together. But, as it says in James, not being hearers of the Word, but doers. That's the challenge, to be doers, to be men and women of action. And so in many ways, as a married couple who love Jesus, we're not just focused on ourselves. We're now one body, and we're focused on loving and sharing the gospel and helping other people in every way possible. The Word of God, rich. Study it. Go through it together. Discuss it. And that will be a great foundation stone for your marriage. And number six, one of my favorite words in the Bible, forgiveness. I'm only here because Jesus Christ forgave me. He paid the price on the cross. Many of us live and come from a shame-based culture. And that is a perpetual hindrance in marriage. As we fail to understand deep level radical forgiveness. And if your wife or your husband fails you in some way, that's not excusing him, even if it's some serious sin. But that's the time to exercise the radical grace and show love and forgiveness. And then my final word is another one of my favorite words, proactive. The older word that's similar is perseverance. It's just 60 years ago that Dreen and I arrived from Spain here to the UK. And since then, over 25,000 British people have served with OM. This has happened because people have persevered. People behind the scenes, accountants, preachers, those who went to India in those early vehicles. I'd be happy to send you a book about it. There'll be times of disappointment, times of heartbreak, having children, and sometimes God gives a blessing of not having children. But having children will surely be one of the most life-changing, challenging experiences in your life. And you will need to know what it is to keep on keeping on. To be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Take these seven biblical principles in your heart. Put them as part of the foundation for your marriage. And I'm sure that if the Lord keeps you going for a long time, someday you'll be celebrating your 62nd wedding anniversary, as my wife and I just did. God bless you, and be sure to keep in touch with me so I can pray for you, and I also, of course, want to send you a wedding gift. Call on Devadas Hankul to brief about the message which he has given. So, to Devadas Garman Madhilo Naro, Vartamana Munukurinshi, Vivar Navari Purmana Kistaro. Thank you very much for this privilege to brief the message because most of the people are in Telugu. Ikada Vartamanamo, George Varvargar, Yedete, Andin Charo, Dani Gurinchna, Vivana Nevatamo Gopadi Ketagan in Bavistuna, Nanikamande, Telugu, Arthan Chesko Nevarikadan Tanaro. I have conducted a lot of marriages and I have preached in a lot of marriage at marriages. This is the only first marriage I have seen so many preachers. Neno Chala Pillillo Jeripisto Vachano Aneka Varta Pillillo Vartamana Luguda is to Vachanokani E Pilliki Oka Pratyaka to Nain Tante 
ఈ పెళ్లిలో చెప్పినంత వర్తమానికుల్ని ఎక్కడ కూడా చూడలేదు I don't know what is the god's plan. Devun yokka pranalika ento maaku teliyadu. I don't want to be a preacher again. Ippudu malli nenu oka bodhakuduga meeku vaakyam cheppalanu kotledu. A very beautiful message that George Verver has given. I don't know how many of you could catch it. George Verver garu chakati vartamananni mana kandincharu entha mandiki idu ardham aindho maaku teliyadu. I'm telling you very true. It has touched my heart. Nijamuga varu andinchina vartamanamu na hrudiyanni taakinde. It makes a wonderful heavenly family upon this earth ee lokamulo aa vishyamulanu paatinchinappudu chakkati daivikamaina parlokapu kutumbamu ee lokamlo anubhavinchagalugutamo he said of course in the beginning he has greeted caleb and naomi aa aarambhamo vartamanamo sahodaru caleb garni naomi ni palakarinchata dwara shubhamulu teliyajeyata dwara aarambhincharu these beautiful seven points he has explained is not only for this new couple but everyone sitting over here husband and wife if you exercise these seven points in your life your family life will be turned into a heavenly life edu chakati amshamulano varu vivarinchina varu ga untunaru aa edi yokka amshamulano iruvaru dampatilu maatrame kaadu gaani ikkadiki cheri vachina kutumba sabhyulu kuda paatisthe kachithamuga mee yokka dampatya jeevitham kutumba jeevitham aashirvadakaram ga untundi and the message which he has given vaaru ichina vartamanamu i mean uh, it is very difficult to give before wife అది ఆ వాక్యము భార్యను ముందు నుంచి చెప్పాలంటే చాలా కష్టము వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు గివ్ దట్ మెసేజ్ when wife is sitting there భార్య ఇక్కడ ఎదురుగా కూర్చున్నప్పుడు చూసేటప్పుడు వారికి చెప్పడం చాలా కష్టము బికాజ్ ఇమిడియట్లీ షి సే ఐ డోంట్ ఫైండ్ ఈవెన్ వన్ ఆఫ్ देम ఇన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ ఎందుకంటే వెంటనే ఆమె చూసి ఎక్కడ నుండి ఆ ఒక్కట్లో ఏది కూడా నీలో నాకు కనబడలేదని చెప్పింది అనుకోండి ఇబ్బంది పడిపోవాల్సి వస్తుంది ఐ నీ నాట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఫియర్ కానీ నేను భయపడవలసిన అవసరం లేదు మై వైఫ్ ఇస్ సిట్టింగ్ దేర్ ఎందుకంటే ఆంటీ గారు ఇక్కడే కూర్చొని ఉన్నారు yes and we follow these things in our life and that's the reason we have the family where we can see the presence of god and the voice of god upon this earth మా జీవితంలో మా కుటుంబ జీవితంలో మా కుటుంబ జీవితంలో ఈ ఏడు విషయాలను మేము పాటించే వారము కావటం అందుకొరకే మా కుటుంబము ఎంతో సంతోషకరముగా ఉంటుంది దేవుని యొక్క స్వరమును మేము వినేవారముగా ఉంటాము ఆనందకరమైన దాంపత్య కుటుంబముగా మా జీవితం ఉండింది మనము ఒకరిని ఒకరము ప్రేమించే వారముగా ఉండాలి అనేక సార్లు భార్య కానివ్వండి భర్త కానివ్వండి వారు ఒకరి పట్ల ఒకరు ప్రేమను కనుపరచరు ఒకవేళ ఇది నా జీవితంలో సత్యము కాకపోతే ఆంటీ గారు ఇక్కడే ఉన్నారు ఆంటీ గారు చెప్పొచ్చి ఇది సత్యము కాదు అంకుల్ చెప్పేదని చాలా మంది భార్య భర్తలు ప్రేమను కనుపరచరు ఆ కారణం బట్టి కుటుంబాలు ఈ దినమున చెల్లా చెదరై we have no grace man of our family krupano mana kutumbalo kaligi undatledo it says that we must have grace because we are saved by grace manamo krupano kaligina varamuga undali endu korakante krupa chetane manamo rakshinchabaddamo fellowship together sahavasam kaligi undali it is wonderful adi ento adbhutamo husband and wife fellowship if it is really centered with christ it is nothing but heaven bharya bartalu yokka sahavasamu varu anyunyanga kaligi undi vaari yokka sahavasamulo yesu christu prabhu varu unnarante adi paralokame verokati edi kuda kaado fellowship is very important sahavasam anedi ento pramukhyamo so brother was telling even the preachers we are so busy in preaching and going around and finally we forget our own wife kabati sahodar sahodaru vartamanu cheptu em annarante manam eppudanna bodhakulu kuda vaaru parichiri nimittamu veru veru pranthalaku velthuntaro vaari kutumbamulo unna baaryanu marchipoyi kutumbamuto sahavasamu unde vishyamulo tappi poye varu ga untaro he was very practical vaaru ento kriya roopakamaina vartamana nandincharo it is true adi satyamo yes many times i am also guilty about that అనేక సార్లు ఈ విషయంలో నేను కూడా తప్పిపోయిన వాడిగా ఉన్నాను భార్యతో చాలినంత సమయమును గడిపే వారుగా ఉండాలి మనము పనుల్లో ఎంత హడావడిగా ఉన్నప్పటికీ కూడా సహవాసంలో ఉండాలి వారు అన్నారు కదా మా నాలుగో అంశముగా భార్య భర్తలు కలిసి పని చేయాలి వారు ప్రార్థన చేయాలి 
Many husband and wife they don't pray together. That's why there is a failure in their life. They don't pray together. And then he said, uh, the word of God. Meditation of the word of God together with husband and wife. That's why there are marriages broken. What a touching message. Because of the marriage they have no heart to forgive their wife. If she does something, and, and, and what he is ex, expressed is, even some, senior, some serious sin is committed, wife must know how to forgive. And... <coughs> ఒకటి ఉండదు this is what George Varvar spoke. And I will add only two minutes message with the permission of announcer. <laughs> Please don't forget that. When I was in States, when I was in States, America, so I was there, I was called there to preach in one of the holy convocation. Oka, Parshuddha Samaja Kudikalo, Vartamana Chaputa Kuruko, Nana Kadiki Pilicharo. After the convocation is over, Akudika Ipena Taravata, then they have taken me. We, some of us we went to see one exhibition. Memo Akada Pakane, Una exhibition, Chudutaniki, Memo Bellamo. I don't know whether I told Cali many times, but maybe name it's first time, but both of you listen. Right now. Can Sister Naomi ki the sister Naomi now listen carefully. So there they have taken me one car, very old car. Varo And then I asked and who has manufactured this? Mr. Ford. Lots of Ford cars are available in India. The first man who started that Ford car is Henry Ford. Motta Motatiga, Ioka Ford Carni Tayaru Chesina, Waru Yavarante, Tanopero, Henry Ford. So one day he was celebrating. His 50th Golden Jubilee marriage life. Oka Dinamana, Waro, Tana Jivitamolo, Yabe Samatsamolo, Purti Cheskuna, Vivaha, Dinamano, Vedika Gajar Kutunaro. You don't find Golden Jubilees in America. America, Deshamolo, Evidanga, Golden Jubilees, Ne, Manamovaro, Vedika Gajar Kuntam Chudamo. Very, very rare. 
chala chala tarchu ga chustamo because the golden jubilee not only silver jubilee everything will be broken down endukara kante golden jubilee pakkana betan silver jubilee prathi okati chala vivahamulo tegi poyevi ga untayi many 95 marriages will be broken 95 shatamo vivahamulo varu vidipothuntaro and then he was celebrating 50th marriage दापत Golden Jubilee, वारो वेड़का का जरूरत कुटम में मुझ चूड़ा मो। And what made you to have successful life and celebrating Golden Jubilee? काने मी जीवित अम्लो इवी दमगा विजयवंत मैंने विवाह जीवित अम्लो जरिगी मेरो याबे समझ समला Golden Jubilee जरूरत कुटर के कला कार्य में इंटेन अड़गेरो। He said he, he said only one word। आप लो आइना वो क्यों का मार्टन जब पैडो। I use in my marriage life same principle what I use in दापत्य जीवित उपयोग that will give a success life adhe vijayavantamaina jeevithanni istundi so please may god help us to have such wonderful families alanti adbhutamaina kutumbam manu kaligundataniki devudu sahayam cheyinu gaaka not do that but even i leave this world he has given the name nishchayamga nenu oka lokamlo unnano oka lokanni vidichina kuda devuni korake enatundi balam enatundi sakshiga thanu untundi endu korake ante devudu thanu root enatundi peru nisthamu we are we are going to give one more name also inkoka peru kuda pedtam uh many of you know brother george varvar mulo chaala mandiki george varvar garu telusu a great man of god gopa daivijanudu aina he did marvelous things aina gopa karyam chesadu he took the ship and went all over the world and preached the gospel aina odu iskoni prapancham antha tirige anekam enti sthalala swarthana prakatin so when can he has asked him to give the name he also sent one name akenni thanu adigina appudu aina kuda oka peru pampichinadu is a difficult name a chaala kashtakaramaina peru um that i will read that name appear nan sadutanu di bera di bera lin lin evartham ayindi is a greek i think it's a greek name british name di bera lin i'm sure that di bera means maybe debora di bera ante debora ane 20 artham this is the name given by this great man of god he gopa daivu janadichina 20 peru idi is a great blessing it gopa aashirvadam to have the name by the great man of god gopa daivu janana peru anugrahinchu vartham Preach the gospel to every creature.